Hey everybody, Animal Man here. Well, my son caught a huge perch today. I'm super proud of him. Bigger than any perch I've ever caught. And I'm going to mount it for him, but not the traditional way. I'm going to show you guys how to mold one out of fiberglass and paint it. Stay tuned. So we're going to use the sand to kind of pose this guy how we want. And you see if you put your finger in his mouth how he flares his gills. You want it to look natural like he's swimming. So I'm going to have to probably stick a safety pin in his mouth to keep the mouth open wide. Then I'm going to stick a safety pin under his gill. And that's going to serve to prop the gill open to give that flared gill look. Now I want to use a pin pins to erect all these fins because when they're swimming their fins are out like this and uh, yeah this will be in the mount but I could just shave it off later on no big deal just want to use the sand to push that head upward again we want this to look as lifelike as we can here's what I'm going to do for this fin this one fin right here I'm going to carefully cut this off and I'm going to cast this separate. I think the rest of this guy is ready. We're going to brush all the sand off him. There he goes. You want to make sure we get the color. We're going to have to paint this later on. So I'm going to take a picture of this, a very close up picture. That way later on we can use some paints and match the color. So I'm just going to take a picture with my phone. Hopefully the lighting is good. Get my shadow out of there. I'm just going to use standard plaster of Paris for this, guys. Nothing crazy. Let me get it mixed up. Okay, I'm going to let that dry about an hour. All right, guys, time's up. We're going to check this fish and see if this worked. Okay, okay. Looks like we got it all. Very cool. We'll zoom in for you. It's not perfect, but it ain't bad either. Okay, let's see how we did with his little fin. Let's see if we can peel his fin off. If we were able to make a fin mold. Yep, pretty good. There's his fin. All right, everybody, we're out in the workshop now. Here's our completed perch cast, and I've lightly brushed out as much sand as I can. I'm just going to use this little duster to get the rest of it out. Just do it away from me. Just the best we can. Nothing crazy. Doesn't have to be perfect. There it is. So here is our finished bracket we're going to use to mount this fish to a piece of driftwood when we're done casting. So it's going to go embedded in the fiberglass somewhere around here probably and that will be nice and tough, nice and sturdy and then we can then bolt the fish to the driftwood later on. We can also hold the fish up by this for painting. So this is the plan. I'm sticking to it. I think this is going to work very, very well. These are in there nice and tight. Alright guys, so time to mix our fiberglass resin. Here it is right here. Some Bondo. I'm only going to need one of these hardeners. This is exactly why I saved my Cool Whip containers. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to begin by just painting a small amount of this, just a coating on the entire fish. Make sure we get it on the entire fins and if we overlap onto the plaster outside the fins outside the mold that's totally fine because we can always grind that off later I'm not worried about that it's actually better I'd rather overshoot than undershoot if you know what I mean now we're gonna get some gauze here I'm gonna use this little gauze for the fins and I'll apply that right in there push it down 
into the resin so it sticks. We want it to overlap the sides, we'll just cut it free later, that's totally fine. Now get it more resin on top. Let's do it. Let's just pour it in there now. Roughly right about there to install this. Pour some resin over it. We need to get this thing to attach to the fish. Okay. Lucky for you, that's what I like. That's what I like. I'm gonna let this set. We'll check it tomorrow. We've got it out of the mold, and I've gone ahead with the Dremel, and I've cut all the extra plastic from all around the outside, and I begin to thin those fins out, and pay attention to the edges, and now I'm working on the mouth, I'm forming the mouth, I'm just roughly forming the back side, because um, we're not going to notice that that much, I don't need detail on the back side, I'm just worried about the front here. I've got it all ready to go here. I've got the fin epoxied on. All right, everyone, so we're inside now at the desk. I'm getting ready to paint this sucker. I've got it all cleaned up. I've got the eye dremeled out to so accept that fake eye. I've got it dry fitted. I've taken the eye out. We're going to epoxy that in after we do the paint job so no paint gets on it. And then there's a picture of the perch before we uh, made the mold. So I'm getting ready to do some more colors. I don't know if this is going to stick, how we're going to do but we're gonna try. Here's where I'm at now. I've got the fish done being painted. Very happy with it. I just did some two-part five-minute epoxy. I epoxied in the uh, Dan Reinhardt's taxidermy perch eyeball that I ordered. And now I got the first thin, thin coating of polyurethane on there. Uh, that way it doesn't interfere with the watercolors and mess up the watercolors, hopefully. Let me show you what I got, what I'm spraying it with. I'm going to do probably three or four coats of this. Minwax, water-based, polyacrylic, uh, clear gloss, so the fish looks wet like it's underwater. So here's where we're at, guys. The fish is all done. I've got the bolts on the back cut to where they need to be, roughly. Got some holes drilled in here in the driftwood. And my plan is to have the fish... Oops. I'm trying to use the camera at the same time. The fish is going to be about there. And then coming on each side of it, I'm going to hot glue. I'm going to drill little holes and hot glue in these water plants here. And then one more water plant, I'm going to hot glue into this crack down here. And that'll complete the mount. I've just attached the wall hanger. All it is is just one of these. See that there? Small. And uh, these are just imaginary water plants I got at the pet store, Petco, I think. And I got the smaller one. The smaller ones seem uh, like a better choice. I like how it's got the orange, like the fish. And these ones are going to be too long. They're going to eventually start to flop over. So here is the finished product, everybody. It's all done. It's all glued. It's still drying. But there it is. I'll give you a few little angles to look at it from. So I hope my son loves it. This is his Christmas present. Merry Christmas, buddy. I love you so much. I'm super proud of you catching this fish. It's bigger than any perch I've ever caught. So we had a great day on the water that day, a great fishing day with my fishing buddy. And now we can relive that memory every time we look at this on his wall. All right, thanks for watching, everybody.